As Richard has said before, and he was explaining how his wife is always criticizing him about the way he drives. Sometimes, like he said, that this person may be right, but other times, more often, um, this person is just sitting in the car, blabbing their mouths, but when it comes down to it, they don't really know what they're talking about. My quote is, a critic is a man who knows the way, but can't drive the car. Um, I would like to start off an example. I drive a car that is stick, and when I ask people, can you drive stick? Usually they say, oh yeah, sure I could. But then when it comes down to it, and you put them to the test, they'll either they'll start stalling or they'll make an excuse to get themselves out of having to actually proved themselves. Another example would be, um, I'm in a fraternity, and my board position this semester is secretary. And in this fraternity, we always push each other to be the best board members that we possibly could. And um, one of the main jobs of the secretary is to send out text messages, keeping everybody informed about um, all, the, all the events that are going on. Many, many of my bros have texted me saying that I'm not on my, that I'm not doing my job correctly and that um, I need to improve my, improve my game, I guess. Um, but when I actually look at them and look at the position that they're doing, they themselves are not exceeding or excelling in the way that they're pushing me to. So I look at it as, at it as if, if they're not doing the job the way they should be, then what right do they have to be telling me what I should be doing? Um, to sum this all up, the quote again is, a critic is a man who knows the way but can't drive the car. Simply put, this quote means that, to me, that if you're going to criticize someone, make sure that you yourself is doing it the right way before you tell someone else how to do their job. Looks to me like you're counting up and want to count down. Oh, okay. All right. People shouldn't have to do math while giving a speech. <laughs> so so if, they, if, they, you know, if you start with five minutes and then they just count down, it's a little bit easier. Sure. Sure. All right, Andre, uh, you found that story at the beginning. That worked okay to get your atten to get our attention. Um, and uh, I think that you tell us what the topic is pretty clearly. Your point of view, we kind of have to infer what your point of view is. I think you could have a more explicit statement of what your point is. There's no real preview. Uh, you do have a structure because you're organizing it around a couple of ideas. Each of those ideas gets a little bit of attention. I think there's maybe some more storytelling that could go on in there. Uh, something about the, your friend driving the stick or something about what's going on in the fraternity, but uh, the, the details only would add to it uh, and give you a chance to maybe relax and do a little bit more talking to us instead of kind of thinking about the next thing that you're going to say. Um, when you're talking to us, you do okay, but sometimes you are a little uncertain about where you're going and you tend to look off. Uh, look down, and you definitely got nervous feet. You're moving around quite a bit, and it's not purposeful movement. It's not like I'm stepping forward to emphasize a point, or I'm transitioning here from one idea to the next. It's you know, sort of rocking and shuffling, and so that's one of those places where some of the anxiety comes out. Uh, your voice is fine. Uh, the pacing is okay. Once in a while, you got a little bit stuck because you were waiting for an idea to come to you. Um, the gestures, you, are, you do have the paper and you're playing with it a little bit, so watch out for that. 
I did like the fact that you had the points that you made. Once you were done with those, you didn't stand there and say, hmm, let me think about something else to talk about. You said, let me just get back to the point that I was trying to make, and you had a good, clean exit. And that's a good way to leave a good impression with the audience. All right, thank you.